You're watching a video produced from Sandridge Energy Studios at Opubco. The Oklahoma City Animal Shelter, Central Oklahoma Humane Society, and the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals are partnering to help reduce the city's pet overpopulation problem. Oklahoma City is benefiting from significant private funding in the effort, and it is beginning to pay dividends. We've made a lot of progress here in recent years uh, when it, in terms of the number of animals that we're able to save. Um, back in uh, 2007, we started this process with the ASPCA and with our partner in Central Oklahoma Humane Society. And uh, at that time, our live release rate was only about 26%, which means 26% of the animals that came out of here went out of here alive. Uh, and in present day, we're, we're now just over 50% of the animals that come in go out alive, and we have a goal of about 60% for this year. And uh, the goals are very attainable. Ultimately, our goal is 75% of the animals that come into this shelter will go out alive. For now, Oklahoma City still has to euthanize pets that can't be adopted here or sent to another state. But officials intend that to change as the public-private partnership in the city continues to grow. We've put a real focused effort on different things to change it, and a lot of it has to do with spaying and neutering. Uh, it's been a huge part of it. We have several different types of spay and neuter programs out there now. Uh, from working with rescue groups, we've implemented new employees to help transfer animals to different rescue groups and uh, so that an other animals have other avenues to be adopted. Read more on the story by Michael Kimball in The Oklahoman.